November 24th is Washoku Day, making and eating local cuisine with Generation Z students. Hometown cooking. What can we Generation Z students do to help keep food and agriculture sustainable? We can develop the habit of planning and producing meals based on locally grown produce. By using locally grown foods in season, we can raise Japan's level of food self reliance and lower food mileage. This would also help reduce society's production of carbon emission. You are what you eat, they say, and we think we can express that message best by learning about traditional local dishes and creating events that pass them on. Let's make local dishes from our hometowns. Onimanju, a traditional sweet from Aichi Prefecture. This is a simple wheat flour steamed bun with sweet potato jam inside. The name means something like ogre dumpling in English. The bumps on the bun are said to resemble the horns on an ogre's head and the burls on his club. This type of bun was widely eaten in the years during and after World War II, when sweet potatoes were among the few kinds of food easily available. Onimanju are made in many homes in the autumn, when sweet potatoes are harvested. Miso dengaku, a traditional dish from Aichi Prefecture. Traditional miso dengaku is from tofu graced with miso and baked. Because it is an easy dish to eat outdoor, it has been popular since the Edo era at events like spring blossom viewing parties. In Aichi, people flavor the red miso glaze with sugar, mirin, yuzu, or nuts. It is mainly a spring dish. Sayori rice, a traditional dish from Gifu Prefecture. Because Gifu Prefecture is completely landlocked, Saltwater fish were an expensive commodity that had to be carried inland by fish martians. This dish helped whole families share out small amounts of the precious fish. Because of the time it took for fish to arrive in Gifu, fresh fish were out of the question, and people ate salted samma. People in central and eastern Gifu were in the habit of calling all long needle like fish sayori. So this dish of rice steamed with salted sama has always been called sayori rice. Keichan, a traditional dish from Gifu Prefecture. Keichan is a dish that originates around Gero City and Guzhou City in the center of the prefecture. This region gets a lot of snow, and residents have traditionally had a self-reliant lifestyle. Raising chicken for their eggs and keeping a vegetable garden. When the chickens grow too old to lay anymore, they were butchered, marinated in a miso sauce, and grilled. This is said to be the organ of the dish Keichan. In Guzhou, the chicken is marinated in a local miso made from rice rather than soybeans, and then grilled together with cabbage. Every home and restaurant has its own particular version. Goldfish rice, a traditional dish from Gifu Prefecture. The Unuma district of Kakamigahara City is famous for its carrots, and it is the birthplace of goldfish rice, a dish of rice steamed together with chopped carrots. The bits of carrot in the rice reminded children of goldfish. So that's why they call it goldfish rice. You can add chopped shiitake mushrooms and fried tofu to the rice and carrots. Goldfish rice has long been a tradition of festivals and other gatherings. Simmered thick fried tofu, a traditional dish from Fukui Prefecture. This dish used to be brought out at funerals and memorial services, but now it is quite common in everyday meals. In fact, it is now eaten so often in Fukui that the prefecture's consumption of thick fried tofu is the highest in the country. Okonomiyaki, a traditional dish from Hiroshima Prefecture. Okonomiyaki is called the soul food of Hiroshima 
and Hiroshima Prefecture has more okonomiyaki restaurants per capita than anywhere else in Japan. The current style of okonomiyaki was born in the years after World War II, when there was very little food available. Hiroshima had a large iron and steel industry, so sheet iron was easy to come by and was often used to grill the okonomiyaki pancakes in restaurants. Hiroshima okonomiyaki uses a thin pancake made from flour onto which are piled toppings like cabbage, fried pork, fried noodles, fried eggs, and so on. Then it is sprinkled with sweet sauce, the essential element of Hiroshima style okonomiyaki, and sometimes mayonnaise as well. Imoni, a traditional dish from Yamagata Prefecture. Imoni, a soup or thin stew based on taro root, was first created about 400 years ago. Because the taro couldn't be stored over the winter in northern Japan, it became a tradition for people to gather and eat it up before the cold set in. There was no set way to flavor the stew, so each family used its own combination of soy sauce, aged soy sauce, miso, and so on. Some people add horse meat to the stew, but chicken is the most common meat used. Beef began being used at the beginning of the Showa era in the 1920s and 1930s. Imoni is now commonly made each fall by groups of friends outdoors over a fire by a riverside. Keihan, a traditional shimajuri dish from Amami Oshima in Kagoshima Prefecture. Keihan is said to have begun as a banquet dish served by officials of the Satsuma domain. In the past, most families in Amami and the Kagoshima mainland kept chickens. And when guests arrived, or at New Year, a chicken would be butchered and prepared with rice as a very special dish. In Amami, local tradition cuisine is called Shimajuri, and Keihan is the most representative, most popular Shimajuri dish. Simply put, Keihan is much like a bowl of rice steeped in tea or light soup. Various toppings are added to a bowl of rice and a rich chicken broth is poured over it. The toppings might include steamed chicken, beaten egg, preserved shiitake, chopped green onions, mandarin orange or yuzu peel, or even pickled papaya. These are some of the best local dishes. Be sure to try them when you come to Japan! What can we Gen Z students do to help keep food and agriculture sustainable? When we make traditional dishes, we learn about the wisdom that led to their creation and the lives and lifestyles of the people who ate them. And we recall the importance of cuisine in the lives of families and the people who gathered and ate together at communal events. So let's try making some of these traditional dishes, enjoy them together, and pass them on.